Hi there. My name is Matt. I'm a Pilates instructor here at Chipping Open Physio. This is a brief 10 minute warm up video to help you get ready for the main session. To start with, we're going to put ourselves into neutral. So starting with feet together, we turn the toes out, heels out. Feet trench hips, heels under hips. Our feet are now hip width apart. Keeping our feet flat and evenly loaded, we're making sure we load through the arch of our foot. Keeping our knees soft, so a little bit of wriggle room available there. Work our way up to our pelvis. We're going to tilt that pelvis forwards and backwards until we find that middle ground halfway in between those two extremes to move. Once we've found that middle ground, we can then engage our core, the space between the bony parts of our hip and below our tummy button. As if we're tightening the belt by two to three notches, drawing that up and in. Gentle buzz of activity, about 30% of maximum through the area there. To support that core, we're going to attach our springs, working from the bottom of our ribs to the top of our hips, making sure we prevent that rotation flaring out and up, and in the, at the meantime, also reducing the risk of our lower back changing shape. Core activated, springs attached. We then work our way up to the chest, collarbones floating apart, draw shoulders to the ears, allow the shoulder waist to melt down the back. Hands coming to rest by the sides and thighs, roughly in line with the seams on your shorts or trousers. Keeping nice and tall and relaxed through the front, we engage the plenty string coming tall from the crown of our head. Keeping that neck nice and long, orange held gently under the chin. Once we've found ourselves in neutral, in standing, we're going to close our eyes. We're going to travel the weight forwards onto our forefoot and then backwards onto our heel. Feeling through the feet, making sure we have a nice even load as we reduce that movement backwards and forwards and ultimately loading through the arch of our foot. Wonderful. We're going to first move on to Toy soldiers, arms only. So we're going to take one hand, we're going to bring it up to the horizontal, keeping the elbow slightly bent to help keep that shoulder wave retracted, and swap sides. Each time, making sure I'm not swinging through the shoulders, not tilting my chest from side to side, and not allowing those springs to stretch. Arms float up to the horizontal, and then exchange. We're now going to bring in opposite heel lift. So if my left hand comes up, my right heel floats away from the floor, keeping the load even between the two feet, place that heel down and then swap the hand over and bring the other heel up. So heel down, swap, lift the other heel. I can take this a step further and swap the heels over in midair, making sure I keep the load even between the two legs all the while. I'm not shifting from side to side, I'm not bobbing up and down. I'm keeping the body as if strapped to a harness, legs moving underneath, arms moving independently. Allow that knee to float forwards as you lift that heel away from the floor. Three, two, one, and rest. Lovely, okay. We're going to shoulder roll. I'm going to roll one shoulder back to begin with, and then the other, and then both shoulders together. One shoulder, the other, back together. One, two, together. Two more. One, two, together. Last one. One, two, together. Okay, we're going to continue with the upper body. Open thoracic mobility, so that section of the spine between the base of our neck and the lower part of our ribcage. Floating both hands up to the horizontal, palms facing like I'm holding onto a large beach ball. Elbows bent to help cold that beach ball shape. I'm going to take a breath in to prepare, and when I exhale, I'm going to turn one hand out to the side, follow with the eyes, keep the pelvis facing forwards. Inhale, bring that hand back to the start position, and on to the other side. One more each side. Bring the hands back down the side and roll those shoulders again. One, two, together. One, two, 
together. One, two, together. Two more. One, two, together. One more. One, two, together. Okay, done waiting. Bring the hands up to the horizontal. So the elbows are bent at 90 degrees, palms face up. We take a breath in to prepare and we exhale. We turn the hands away, relax the two of those collarbones. Inhale, draw those hands back to start position. Bring you out and in. Three and four and five, six and seven, eight. Two more to go. And ten. Okay, we're going to keep the hands facing to the front. We turn this into clear captures. So we breath into prep. Exhale. We turn the hands out the side. Float the hands up, out to the side, breathe in, we draw the elbows back to the side, and then palms face up again. Turn, palms up, fingers away, palms down, elbows in, palms up, and to the front. Three more. Last one. Hands down my side. Roll the shoulder back. One, two, together. One, two, together. One. Two, together. Two more. One, two, together. Last one. One, two, together. Okay, going to work on half squats. So when you're starting from that neutral position, my bottom's going to drop backwards and downwards and lower myself onto an imaginary chair. Keep the load through the arch of the foot. All the while, my hands can come to the front to make sure I counterbalance that weight of my bottom going backwards and down. And then I can return to standing again, using those bum muscles to help slow the descent and then return to standing. So it's down and up. Down and up. Keep using those bum muscles. Load through the arch of the foot. Keeping neutral from the hips up, nice to neck still. Three more. One more to go. Lovely. Okay, this time we're going to do heel lifts. So we're going to float the heels slightly away from the floor, breathing out as we do so, and inhale to lower. All the while making sure I stay nice and tall throughout the body. Breath into prep. Exhale, one. Inhale, down. Two to go. Excellent. We're now going to put those two moves together, half squat and heel lift, so foot series. Keep them nice and tall. I lower myself into a half squat, float the heels away from the floor, so stay in tiptoe and in half squat. Bring myself up into standing, hands come down my side, and then lower my heels to the floor. So it's one, two, three, and four. Half squat, heel lift, tiptoe, heels down. Three more.
One to go. Okay, last bit we're going to do for our warm up is we're going to roll down. We're going to perform three roll downs with three different moves. And on the third roll down, we're going to crawl out onto the floor. So start off nice and tall. Draw that chin in slightly to the chest, breath into prep, and exhale. Chin to chest, round those shoulders, allow that front of the chest to collapse, and then peel the vertebrae forwards, one bone at a time, floating the hand down towards the feet. Pause in that low hand position, feeling the stretch through the hamstrings and across the lower back. And once we're down here, relax that neck, without that head hang low, and turn the head from side to side, like to say no. Stretching those neck muscles, mobilising those joints through the neck. Bring yourself back to the middle, breath into prep, exhale, tuck that tailbone under, stacking those vertebrae one bone at a time, up through the back. Shoulder blades melting down the back, hands resting by the sides of the thighs, and a nice tall neck. Number two, breath in, and exhale, chin to chest. Round those shoulders, peeling forwards, one bone at a time. Tailbone floating up towards the ceiling. Pause in that low hanging position, relax those shoulders completely, now swing those hips from side to side, allow, allow the arms to flail, move freely, Come to rest, in that low hand position, breath into prep, and exhale. Rolling back up, one bone at a time. Softening through those collarbones as the arms rest down on the side, shoulder blades and up and down the back, a nice tall neck. Last one, breath into prep, and exhale, chin to chest, round those shoulders. Hands float down, tailbone floats up into that low hang position. Pause for a breath in. Exhale, soften those knees, walk those hands out onto the floor, lower the knees to the ground, and finish up in four point knee. Hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips. And I'll see you in the main section.